hello friends how are you all welcome to my youtube channel in this video today i will show you how to take aluminum with salt water okay guys this is my tick torch and uh, um, here is my gas tank here are two bowls and a piece of sandal palms and this is my high frequency starter circuit and simmer ok guys let's ready the kit which is going to salt water mm, but before starting the video i would like to request one thing from you all guys if the video is helpful to you and enhance your experience then please subscribe to my channel and like comment and share the video Friends, I am fast forwarding my video so that the video is not too long. Okay guys and the kit is complete to going to the salt water but uh, before this uh, it need to check as you can see it's uh, work well my high frequency starter is work well okay guys here a jar of water and uh, in this water I will mix salt and keep the welding kit which I made mix them well with water with the little salt ok guys all things are ready but uh, uh, before uh, starting the world uh, it uh, has to be checked all the connection ok now I will check the torch uh, which is connected with uh, AC F high frequency starter uh, ok let's see ok it's work well and it is ready for well now I start the world I think uh, it is very uh, dangerous work so be careful guys ok guys as you can see it's uh, it's work well but uh, you can see the workplace uh, or is not melt is not melting guys it's a quite uh, it's quite thick metal so i need a thin piece of aluminium ok guys i need a thin piece of aluminium ok uh, now let's see if it can melt oh no guys uh, it uh, still cannot melt I think guys uh, it uh, would uh, need more amperes to melt guys uh, you can see that it is uh, just getting hot 
but uh, not melting think taking the bolts from here to there will increase the ampere's lot of uh, okay it's done uh, check the connection uh, connection is uh, well and let's uh, try uh, the new settings Okay guys, let's try. Oh my god. It's uh, my welding uh, salt water welding kit deliver too much ampere to weld the aluminium. It's pretty much of ampere. Guys here you can see uh, the thin aluminium is in everything. And the water also, also so you can see that uh, the water is getting hot. Actually, friends, there is a question in our mind: How long can continuous welding be done with this salt water? Um, Ten to fifteen minutes. You can continuous weld with this water and after that you have to change the water friends you can see the piece of aluminium is melted but uh, one more thing uh, guys, uh, I need some heavy wire uh, for electricity connection uh, like this. I use uh, this small one. Guys, uh, you can see uh, the use of aluminium. But uh, aluminium requires cleaning action for welding. But salt water welding, it is uh, not giving a cleaning action. So uh, I use uh, next video uh, my AC valence circuit as you can see and this is a AC valence circuit which is provide cleaning action and much more penetration and uh, it uh, saves the tungsten also as you can see my tungsten was sharp but uh, now as you can see it's melt and it's uh, uh, shaped like a ball so I need a AC valence circuit which is uh, balanced AC provide a balanced AC uh, which gives uh, much more penetration and less Cleaning action in the welding machine has a cleaning action. The filler rod is well mixed as it is added. You guys, uh, without uh, cleaning action, you cannot weld aluminium because uh, there is a oxide layer in the upper side of melted aluminium, so it uh, need the cleaning action and uh, also need uh, penetration when electricity goes a same way like 50 percent negative and 50 percent positive it's show a result 50 percent penetration and 50 percent cleaning action in this situation an oxide layer accumulates on the aluminum and melts the tungsten also so you have to 
need a AC balance circuit which is provide balanced AC uh, so for today guys uh, you will be shown in details uh, in the next video to watch the video subscribe the channel now and hit the bell icon so goodbye everyone